Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel, uh, Middleware Technologies. Uh, today we will be uh, learning a new concept related to QE. Uh, so basically, we will see how we can schedule uh, a function uh, to be called on a regular interval. Okay. So this uh, in this video, uh, like we will be continuing uh, from our last video, wherein uh, we were able to uh, create some child widgets and uh, we were able to move them uh, by manually touching them. Okay. And today we will be uh, trying to schedule those movements using the clock, that is clock scheduler. So let's see how we can uh, achieve that one. So this is as per the last video what we have achieved. So let me run that uh, to just uh, give a just give a glimpse. So this is how uh, like we were able to move the widgets uh, using our touch, take on, touch down, touch on, and touch release. Okay. So uh, let's see how we can schedule uh, these uh, uh, widget mo movements uh, uh, on a regular interval. Like let's say we want to float uh, this widgets on a horizontal direction. Okay. So let's go into our code. <coughs> uh, let me first. Uh, get this widgets uh, positioned uh, into center location so here uh, I'm going to position them uh, onto the center of the root widget so this is actually uh, center underscore x is basically a property of the root widget like any widget uh, we can say uh, which we can use to center our uh, uh, the, the widget whatever uh, we want to okay. so I'll try to uh, center uh, my both of my child widgets uh, let me add uh, one more uh, widget Center and this is not X. I'll position it at 500 uh, on the Y direction. Okay. And also, uh, let us uh, change the size, uh, like basically the height of our uh, widget to something like 10 so that it looks like a ladder. So let me run this one and see how it looks. Okay, uh, now I think we have centered our uh, uh, like ladders, uh, like basically our child widgets. Uh, now what we want to achieve is we want to move, uh, like schedule these uh, uh, child widgets uh, at a regular interval to be. Uh, floating in the uh, horizontal direction okay so for that uh, first of all we need to uh, get the uh, references to our child widget objects okay S so for that one uh, what we need to do in our kv file is we need to first uh, place identifier for each of our uh, child widget so let's say i will identify my uh, first uh, widget uh, with some ID called lad1 and uh, similarly I will identify uh, like some ID identifiers for other two other two widgets as lad2 and lad3 so these are basically the identifiers uh, for our child widgets which we can use only in uh, 
uh, the KV file. Uh, these references, uh, basically these IDs, uh, references to our uh, child widgets, uh, we cannot use in our Python code as of now. Okay. So for using our uh, uh, like child widgets in our Python code, like we want to have a reference to our child widgets, we need to create some attributes. So let's say, uh, uh, name my first attribute as lighter one and uh, point it to the our, uh, ch child reference uh, that is ladder one. Similarly we will do for other two uh, child widgets lad two. Like three. So uh, with this, we uh, we have created three attributes uh, for our uh, child uh, widgets. Now, uh, like basically, we need to we uh, we need to uh, reference uh, these uh, attributes in our Python code. Okay. So let me open my main uh, file uh, python application file so first of all we need to import uh, a class that is kv dot properties import object property so basically uh, we want to use uh, the reference to our child uh, widget object so uh, we are trying to import this object property uh, class now so let's edit our uh, the uh, the root widget uh, class so here uh, let's uh, ref, uh, hook up uh, basically we need to map our uh, objects uh, like attributes which we have created in the kv file uh, with the object references uh, which uh, uh, with the object references okay so here uh, we need to give the same names uh, as what we have uh, given in the kv file and the attributes uh, for our child widgets so ladder one So this is object property ladder two ladder three. Okay, so with this, uh, like we are able to. Uh, reference our uh, child widget objects that is ladders in our python code now uh, next uh, thing is how uh, we can move these child uh, widgets in a horizontal direction okay so for that we need to use a scheduler uh, scheduler uh, which we can achieve using the clock class of kv dot clock input clock so basically this clock uh, will help us in uh, scheduling our uh, callback function uh, like uh, this function uh, we will be uh, like implementing uh, to move our uh, widget in the horizontal direction okay so clock will help us to call this function on a regular interval okay so we have imported the clock uh, uh, class which uh, we will call at a regular interval uh, 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 like we will be calling our function so basically let's define our function first an empty function uh, let's name it as float widget 
pass itself and uh, the interval uh, at which we want to call this one and uh, let's not uh, write anything right now here so I'm just putting it as pass and now here we will schedule uh, our uh, callback function using the clock uh, scheduler clock dot schedule underscore interval and here we will be calling our uh, the root widget okay. so my that is the reference to our root widget and call its float widget function and this schedule uh, we want to call at a regular interval so let me define it as every 1 by 60th second so this one uh, like basically uh, tells the function to be called uh, the, the float widget function to be called at a regular interval that is 1 by 60th sec second okay. so let's see uh, like uh, if there are any errors uh, hopefully they are not okay uh, so uh, we are good right now so let's implement our uh, function So here uh, we have uh, the three references to our child widgets. So we'll try to move them uh, in a x direction. Okay. So I'll use self dot ladder one dot x. Uh, so ladder one is the child widget, child widget uh, whose x uh, property, like basically the uh, x direction property, we will be move uh, like uh, moving by five units. Self dot ladder one dot x plus 5 similarly uh, we will try to move uh, our uh, other two ladders Let's uh, like move uh, our second ladder in the reverse direction. Okay, so basically the first ladder will move on the right direction, and the second ladder will move on the left direction, and the third ladder will again move on the right uh, right direction. Let's try to run this code. Okay, uh, let me check on this error. So basically, it is uh, trying to say like uh, the object has no attribute x. Okay. Okay. As per the error, uh, like it looks like uh, we are trying to call the uh, uh, like we are trying to retrieve the x attribute on a string object. Okay. So let me check my code in the KV first. Okay, uh, so I think there is a small correction we need to do. Uh, the references, the attributes, and the IDs that we are that we have created, uh, it should be uh, references, uh, not strings. 
so let me remove uh, this double quotes for attributes and uh, the identifiers that we have created initially So let me run this code again. Okay, now, uh, like as you can see, we were able to uh, schedule our childhood widgets uh, to be moved uh, on a uh, regular interval using the clock functionality. But uh, as you can see, uh, like these widgets have moved out of my screen and uh, we are not able to see them. So how we can make sure like these widgets, uh, when they move out, uh, like when they move out of our screen, uh, like basically they need to come from the other end. Okay. So let's try to uh, achieve that one. Uh, like it should be floating. Uh, from in the horizontal di direction continuously. So that's what we'll try to uh, achieve, okay. Okay, uh, for that, uh, let's go into our uh, main file, move no widget Python file. Okay, uh, so here, uh, as you can see in our function, we are just uh, uh, keep uh, changing our x, x coordinate of our uh, ladders uh, the plus five units but let's say so the first ladder if our first ladder is moving outside the root uh, width basically the root widget width if a self dot ladder dot x is greater than root dot width, then we reset the x position of our ladder to zero, and again move it in, uh, like uh, float it in the x direction. Okay, the five units. Similarly, uh, let's uh, do it for the other uh, two ladders also. Cell dot ladder two dot x is less than root widget x coordinate that is zero then we need to reset our uh, second ladder x coordinate ladder 2 dot x okay, is equal to dot width and uh, let's move our ladder to dot x by the x uh, reverse direction x minus five okay uh, is one correction we need to do this is actually not the root uh, we need to call uh, this attribute on the self that is in the current instance that we have passed okay uh, similarly uh, let me complete for the third ladder also Oops, 
Sir, dot ladder three is moving in the right direction, so it is moving out of our way. Uh, widget or uh, root widget. We need to reset it to zero. That is Sir, dot ladder three dot x is equal to zero, and uh, we need to move it again uh, by five units in that right direction dot x is equal to cell dot line three dot x plus five okay so with this like basically what we are trying to achieve is uh, ladder one will be moving in the uh, right direction by five units and when it is going to reach at the end of our root widget uh, we are trying to reset our uh, ladder one x coordinate to zero and again we are trying to move it in the uh, right direction for five units. Similarly for ladder two, uh, like we are doing, uh, we are uh, moving it in the left direction, and uh, when it is going to uh, like uh, reach the uh, 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 root, uh, like root uh, uh, x coordinate zero, uh, like we are uh, going to uh, reset our uh, x coordinate of ladder two such that it moves, uh, uh, it goes to the end of the uh, root uh, widget that is self dot widget and uh, third uh, like uh, the ladder 3 is similar to ladder 1 uh, wherein we are going to move it in the uh, right direction okay so let us try to execute this code and see how our uh, ladders uh, move uh, uh, like with a scheduled root interval Okay, uh, I think uh, we are good now. Uh, as you can see, uh, like our ladders are moving in the appropriate direction. The first ladder is moving in the right direction, the second ladder is moving in the left direction, and the third ladder is moving in the right direction. And also, uh, like once they uh, move to the end of our uh, uh, like root widget, they are again uh, like we are resetting their uh, position so that uh, they continuously. Uh, look like moving in our uh, root widget okay uh, i think uh, we have uh, we're done with uh, today's uh, mm -hmm. uh, video uh, i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video uh, next week uh, we will again come up uh, with a new concept of uh, kv uh, which we'll try to uh, learn okay uh, thank you all. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.